Greg, how does it feel to actually have this thing fully up and running right now? I mean, it's, it wasn't that long ago, it was just a dream. Yeah, it's almost a bit surreal, to be honest. Um, to have, as the guys from Pitch Vision have said, probably the best schoolboy indoor centre in the world. Um, and one of the few indoor centres, not only in the country, but in the world, with this level of technology. Um, yeah, it is almost surreal, but it's been great using it as well. The, the boys have really enjoyed it. Um, it's simple, they are able to use it. And I think we've already seen an improvement in, in some areas because of, the, of, because of them being able to see themselves on screen all the time. So what does it feel like now? You've, I'm sure there's some concepts you've struggled with to get through to the guys, and now suddenly they, they look at it and it's, aha. Yeah, it's just, just basic technique things where they can't necessarily feel what's happening. You know, a lot of people are visual learners, so I think for, especially for the visual learners, this is big. Um, but everyone, everyone responds to being able to see, to see what they're doing. And I think it's just making the connection between what they feel is happening and what they can see is actually happening. So once they can see what's happening, and they can see every ball, so they can see the progress every ball, if there is progress, I think that's very significant. Good. Well, let's take a walk inside. Let's have a look at one of these kiosks. Uh, before we get there, let's just check. We've got lovely new change rooms over here. These are big. Nice showers, very nice. So this is the same side. This is this is our dressing room. So yeah. what's nice is the boys leave the the boys leave the the first team guys. It's the first team privilege that we've started. The first team guys leave their kit here, um, and it's obviously convenient that they that they can just pad up here and go and practice in there. Very nice. Okay, let's take a walk on in here. So I think the first thing one notices when you get inside here is this place is big. It's massive, yeah, it's massive. Um, you know, there's, there's space for full run-ups easily, plus the space in the back here, which is either for the kiosks to stand or for, um, for guys to pad up. There's still some, some stuff lying around here which needs to be cleared out. Cleared out. Um, but yeah, it is, it's very big. And right above us where we're talking now, there's a bit of a higher viewing platform. Yeah, there's a viewing platform up there, plus, plus an office on the other side, which will become my office. Okay, let's take a walk around to this uh, pitch vision kiosk that we've got here. We're going to try this one. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, we've got, yeah, we've got a guy doing a throwdown session. It's Calvin Flanagan batting on screen there. Um, you'll see the first thing that happens is that um, after the delivery is bowled, he'll, he'll turn around and he'll have a look on the screen. Uh, you can't necessarily see it yet because the, the clip isn't long enough. But mm. So after every ball, that wasn't a particularly good ball. Yes. Uh, <laughs> let's wait for the next one. Um, there we go. Nice reverse sweep. Shot we've been using, using a lot lately. Um, so yeah, after every after every ball, he can see what happened. We can then drag in various bits of information on the screen here. For example, we can drag in a pitch map. Um, we can drag in ball tracking. Or well, the <coughs> the significance for the batsman of the pitch map is just checking whether the length that he felt the ball was was in fact the length that the right. ball that the ball was. Um, this is applications for bowlers as well, obviously, in terms of. Um, then hit the areas. We can set. In fact, if you there's a little there's a little target area there that's from an old session. You'll see now if it there it is on the screen there. Okay. That that was a target area that that we embedded for Gerald right. um, when he was bowling, and the target slightly f so a, a seamer's length, a good seamer's length, and the target slightly fuller was one that we embedded for Ruan Cornea, the leg spinner. Right. Um, so. <clears throat> we can then monitor how often they hit that area, not only during a session, but during a week, during a season, um, whatever. We can change the target and make it bigger or smaller, as the case may be. Now explain something to me. Here on the left, we're looking here, we're seeing this thing that says delivery tagging, and it's got one, two, three, four, and six, and uh, obviously bold LBW, caught, stumped, and so on. What, what yeah, is that so, all about? Um, that's... <clears throat> A batsman, you can you can set up a session with a batsman, and then um, the, it's obviously reasonably theoretical. But 
um, you can then you can then after the session go and have a look at the number of runs scored, whether he was dismissed, where he was dismissed. Um, there's also later we'll have an application on the system where we can tag um, matches. Match coding is what it's called. Okay. Um, so. All the, all the balls in a game, we'll be able to have those videos, plus the stats in terms of wagon wheels and things like that available. Okay. So this, I guess, also helps. We, we're looking at a guy like Calvin now, who's definitely not playing orthodox shots. Oh. This, this is helping you, for instance, prepare for T20 cricket, a specific kind of game. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> that's exactly what Cal Calvin's preparing now for, the, for T20 cricket, specifically. Um, and... <clears throat> we, had a, we had a very good session yesterday where I was throwing to Calvin and he was practicing the reverse paddle off the seamers and yeah. every ball we could monitor whether he was in, in the right position or not for the reverse paddle and as his positions got better his consistency of hitting the paddle got better right. um, and <clears throat> I, didn't, I wasn't really saying much he, ke he kept on saying I was maybe not in quite the right position I was a bit high or my head was not in the right position so that's what I said earlier um, you know, they, they kind of self-learn because they yeah. can see exactly what's happening. And different from conventional video analysis where a coach, which we used to do, we take a video and then maybe take another one two weeks later or so, um, which helps, but this is every ball. I yes. just think it makes all the difference. Okay. And just talking about something like, for instance, that reverse sweep now. You look at it and think, well, it's, you know, it's something you use every now and again, but quite frankly, when you guys played Hotfeld recently in the Free T20 final, that was probably one of your top scoring strokes on the day. It was, yeah. Um, particularly um, because we played at the stadium and we're playing there again on Friday, the outfield's very big, so it's difficult to clear the boundaries, but the outfield is quick, so um, you get value for shots on the ground. Um, and if you, do have, if you do have various options to manipulate the field, it's just means that keeping the ball on the ground is a real option because you'll always have gaps somewhere if you've got enough enough options as a batter. Sure, sure. Is the cricket season almost finishing a bit too soon for you now that you've got your new toys? Well, um, <clears throat> we practice throughout the winter, so we'll be using it flat out throughout the winter. And just lastly, Greg, we're talking about the big guys now and playing cricket, but you've been also getting guys from the, the junior school and right from the, the youngsters, uh, grade one, and what have you been doing with them inside this building? Yeah, we've started a program with the grade ones, twos and threes, which we'll, <clears throat> we'll roll out to um, the slightly older guys in the junior school later on throughout the winter as well. Um, we've been focusing, first of all, on, on basic athletic skills, so agility, balance, coordination and speed and then bringing in cricket-specific skills. Um, so that's what, that's what we'll be doing with, the, with our youngsters from now on, just to try and lay a solid foundation. Hopefully that'll help us. I'm sure, that, I'm sure that'll benefit our cricket. In fact, all of our sport um, down the